This is the PlayStation 4 edition of the Razer Siren X USB condenser microphone. A standard all black version is still available as well if that PS Blue grill doesn't take your fancy. But in the box you'll find the microphone and its desktop stand with extender, a micro USB cable and of course the included Razer documentation. And at a buying of roughly 100 great British pounds, its build quality I'd say is relatively decent. The Siren X features a plastic body with metal grill and although it is on the lighter side, it still certainly looks sleek and professional to my eyes. That and you'll also sleep sound knowing it won't keel over on an entry level microphone stand or boom arm like something heavier such as the Yeti. But on the front, i.e. the part not facing the webcam, you'll find a much welcomed microphone mute button. This will shine blue as opposed to green when active like the standard or red when muted. There's also a volume knob above it for adjusting the latency free headphone monitoring audio, though there is unfortunately no hardware balancing option so you'll still have to do that in Windows. Underneath you find the 3.5mm headphone port, a micro USB port and a 5 8 inch threading for its included stand. And this stand actually provides an impressive amount of adjustment allowing you to effectively angle it towards your mouth, though with condenser microphones and positioning, it's never really that simple. So the Siren X features a super cardioid polar pattern, meaning it's designed to pick up audio from the front and you'll still want to get within three to five inches of that metal grill for best results. This means you'll need space between the keyboard and the edge of the desk, or ideally you'll pair it with a third party stand to better avoid noise of peripherals. Now, this is something I did with a 5 8 to 3 8 inch thread adapter. However, as you can see, it's not quite long enough and clearance for the USB cable was minimal. So make sure you get something long. This is a microphone test with the Siren X on its included stand. It's placed and angled in front of the Razer Huntsman keyboard and it's roughly five inches away from my voice. I'm now pretending to kill everybody by spamming the optomechanical keys and now my mouse. This is a microphone test with the Siren X on its included stand. It's placed behind the Razer Huntsman keyboard and it's roughly 18 inches away from my voice. I'm also now pretending to kill everybody spamming the optomechanical keys and now my mouse. This is a microphone test with the Siren X placed loosely on the Rode PSA1 boom arm. It's about three to five inches from my mouth and now I'm spamming the optomechanical switches and clicking the mouse buttons. In all, the Razer Siren X presents a good entry level option to the world of streaming and content creation audio. And to be honest, I'd happily use it myself to record YouTube reviews and voiceovers for videos such as this as well. There's a bunch of ad specifications that I didn't go into, but at the end of the day, what's important is how it sounds and how it pairs with your voice. And for that, sometimes you've got to try a bunch of different microphones, but this Siren X and my voice, I personally think go hand in hand. And I did absolutely zero post pro processing, Windows volume set to 85%, and as you can see with Audacity, it's exactly what you're hearing right now. And also happens to be next to zero background noise, which is appreciated. Meaning you won't need to do any real-time removal through a VST plugin in OBS or afterwards in post. Obviously though, if you're really serious about content creation, then taking the route of an XLR interface might be the more preferable option particularly pairing it with a dynamic microphone as well to reduce peripheral noise further. But ultimately, you really can't go wrong with the Siren X. It's extremely versatile, and especially if you're just getting started and not wanting to spend the big bucks straight out of the gate, definitely want to consider going for it. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this short video review. Make sure to subscribe for more in future, and if you have any questions or comments, then let me know down below and I'll get back to you. But otherwise, for now, take care, keep gaming, and I'll catch you in the next video.